What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded on my YouTube channel. I, to be honest, I wasn't really planning to, but the past couple months I've kind of been having the itch to come back, make some uh, videos, not like I did before really, uh, sort of continuing with the, the little weird shit with vlogs and uh still some video game content mostly clips from my live stream uh speaking of which uh twitch.tv slash bearded underscore kitty come check me out i'm live tuesday to sunday i take mondays off below the uh stream in my twitch panels you will actually see a schedule link is also in the description of this video so this vi video is more of an update about Kali. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter or uh, in my Discord, uh, you can find links for those below in the description of this video. If you haven't seen already, uh, we kind of ran into a situation where she wasn't feeling too well. So in order for some of this to make sense, I'm going to start uh, a little bit in the past, very briefly, it's not going to be long at all. And I'm going to try to stick to the point and not over explain things at all. So about between five to seven years ago, I was told by the vets that they they found that Callie had a heart murmur. So basically every so often there was a beat uh, of her heart that would be missing or it would be uh, considerably weaker than the rest uh, of her heartbeats. But she was still healthy and there was nothing to worry about, at least at the time. There wasn't really anything they could do to fix a heart murmur anyways. She was still a healthy, happy kitty, and, uh, you know, it's like a normal cat, really. So the years went on, and there, there was a couple times there wasn't so much of an infection, but it was, I guess, more of an irritation due to overexcitement or stress, uh, both good and bad. If you do not know, I am now back in Canada. I think I came back in, uh, I think it was mid-November. Early to mid-November, I can't remember exactly. I think it was mid-November. So towards the end of November, my dad and I were going to go to Toronto to see family and attend my cousin's wedding. And of course, just before, like like days before we had to leave, we discovered Callie was acting kind of strange. She was having trouble going to the bathroom. She was kind of squatting everywhere. She ended up having a bladder infection, which uh, we had somebody come over and treat her while we were away. And then we finished off the treatment when we got back. It seemed to be fixed. She was cured. Uh, it was fine. December goes by. We're now in January. I'd say around mid-January, there were a couple times where she she would throw up, but we kind of figured it was just hairballs. But there was one time she threw up, and it was kind of like it was watery. It was like it was as if she drank a lot of water, and then just threw it up. We didn't really think anything of it because she only did it once and other than that it was just the usual hairball um and then weeks go by there's nothing and then yesterday so january 28th dad gets up in the morning he gets super early in the morning he doesn't even need an alarm he just gets up early um he let the cat out he went for a shower and then she came back in and she ended up doing the watery throw up again and my dad thought it was kind of strange because it, it kept uh it's been multiple times now that it's happened and he was wondering what it could be why why it was and uh but there was nothing really significant in the throw up that we could see and so he continues his morning routine and uh he noticed callie kind of started to slow down she wasn't being her usual cheerful self she kind of seemed a bit mopey and uh she was kind of hiding in my dad's room Usually when she throws up, she, uh, she'll go and hide, uh, just, I don't know if it's because, like, she feels ashamed or she's, or, like, the time being she's upset, uh, and she just wants to be alone. So he, uh, he left her for the time being, and then he goes to work, and then I'd say about an hour later, I wake up to hearing her gag in the distance. Turns out she threw up again, uh, I went and checked it out, it was kind of foamy, but it was, uh, there was, it wasn't really yellow, it was more like a white 
foam, uh, pretty normal, pretty standard. And it was also kind of slimy, almost like, uh, I guess, kind of like phlegm, but I felt like it was acid-like. But she was clearly not well. She wasn't really moving. She was staying where she was. Uh, she went into my dad's room as I was cleaning it up. She wasn't being herself in the sense she like she wasn't responding when you said her name or you kind of like try to get her attention. She would just keep her head down, keep her eyes closed. And then it wasn't until you'd go up and pat her head um, or scratch the top of her head. That's when she would kind of, um, she'd, she'd make a, sound, a quiet sound and kind of raise her head and just kind of look at you, but her eyes would be kind of half shut. Um, so she, she was very sluggish, um, very concerning. She stayed in my dad's room for most of the morning. I called my dad. I said she's not kind of, she's not feeling very well, and he said that he was gonna be back for lunch and check things out. Basically, she eventually came out of my dad's room later in the morning, but she she let out this kind of weird meow. It was like it wasn't the usual meow that she makes. There's a couple different tones that she will make when she meows, but and usually they they sound cheerful, you know, um, that she's happy or she, she's just like, hey, I'm here, you know. But it sounded more, I don't want to say depressing, but it sounded like she 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 was upset, like kind of like her stomach was hurting. And, and I guess a good way of putting it is usually when she meows and she's cheerful, it's kind of like the, the pitch is up there, but it was more like down here and it was kind of concerning. So and there was only like about an hour until my dad got home. So I waited until he, he arrived, but she she wasn't eating or drinking after she threw up. She appeared uncomfortable. And like I said, she was kind of being unresponsive. What I mean by uncomfortable is usually when she lies down, she just puts her legs under her. She lies down. She's just comfortable. But she seemed to have trouble getting her legs under her. She would like she would take forever to uh, from sitting down to lying down. She would take forever. She kind of stayed hidden for the, the pretty much the whole morning, uh, except for the one time she came out. And then my dad got home. He looked at her and he's like, OK, she's clearly not OK. Um, She's definitely worse than uh, when I left this morning. So uh, he called the vet and he's at first the receptionist said there's no appointment until Thursday. But then she went and asked the vet if he thought that he should deem it an emergency. So he said uh, it sounds concerning. So he fit us in between two patients towards the end of the day. So we go there and he checks our vitals. And at, at first he, he was he was very quiet when he was checking her vitals and I'm I'm sitting there like what the hell's going on I was kind of freaking out he continued to check her vitals he was kind of like I don't know if he was checking her bladder or her stomach or something but he was kind of poking around in there and she was kind of making a squeaky meow I've never heard her meow like that before but he said it wasn't he she wasn't meowing as if she was uh like an excruciating pain it was just kind of like a, hey don't touch me there kind of thing she wasn't uh in pain to the touch so she wasn't like bloated or anything so he checks her vitals he first discovers that she's got an extremely high fever uh her her paws seem cold like usually when she has a fever she'll sweat out her uh, through her paws they were actually kind of cold and then both him and my dad kind of pointed out that the padding on her paws seemed paler than usual which also was like, okay, is she not getting enough blood flow? What's going on? So so when he when the vet checked her vitals, he first discovered a high fever, and then he discovered uh, a high heart rate. Usually heart rates are between, uh, I believe it's 140 to 220, and Allie's heart rate was at like 280. Her heart murmur was very distinctive, more than usual, and he wasn't 100% sure if it was heart disease. Um, and that was start, like that was really starting to get me worried even more because i was like she's already got a heart murmur and she she's an older cat she's like 14 15 um i think she's more like 15 right now considering she already had a heart murmur i was thinking like it, this is being it's being harder on her because the heart murmur is making her heart struggle to keep up with um with the blood flow i guess and there there wasn't enough circulation that's why her paws felt cold even though she had a fever so the vet decided he wanted to do an x-ray of her heart and lungs to see to see what he was dealing with to make sure that he would give the proper treatment. After he, he does the x-ray, he said the heart appears to be enlarged. He was trying to piece the pieces together. He was like, okay, fever, high heart rate, enlarged uh, heart. And then he's like, I don't, I don't know exactly what it could be. So the vet thought that it could be a thyroid condition that's causing the enlarged heart, but he's very skeptical of the fever being a symptom of 
a thyroid condition. So uh, he ran some blood tests, and it turns out the thyroid was fine, but there were many compounds that were elevated, not drastic, but it was concerning. Uh, and he was mainly focused on the white blood cells. I can't remember exactly what other compounds there were. I think there was one, it was like uh, creatinine or something like that. And so he was looking at the charts and he went, wait a minute, her bladder was infected. And then he thought, what if her kidneys are infected? Uh, and then he looked, he continued to look at the results and he said, yeah, that matches. So uh, he, he, he said the kidneys are infected, but the problem is kidneys are hard to treat uh, for infections. However, because we caught it immediately, there's a good chance of a full recovery. There is still a possibility of it not working out, but we've got two weeks treatment and we're going to see how it goes after that. So that's that's where we were at there. And he, he told me that uh, it would probably be best to give her wet cat food when we got home because she didn't eat all day. And apparently in the x-ray, they discovered she had a turd inside of her and that uh, there was a hairball in it and that she really had to go. But because she wasn't feeling well, she wasn't having the energy to basically get it out of her. But once we got home, she immediately went to the litter box. I think she only peed though. And then she went into the kitchen. She drank some water. I uh, gave her the wet cat food like the, the vet recommended. Uh, I only gave her like a teaspoon to start off just because I didn't want her to overeat and get sick again. And then I, I think she went to the litter box again. I think she actually went to poop that time. And uh, then she just kind of went in the living room. At first she wasn't really moving. She stayed at her food dish. She was just kind of hunched over and she was sitting there. And my dad said it seemed like she was slowly dropping her head into the the water bowl. And he said it, it was, he didn't want her to like put her face in the water kind of thing. So he, he picked her up, he put her in the living room. He left for a couple hours, uh, but there was one pill that he wanted us to wait a couple hours before giving her. And I got up to go get the pill and she seemed to get up with me. She seemed to be moving more than she was uh, like, a little bit ago so yeah basically her fever broke i gave her her last pill she took it fine she seems to be more alert now she's better right now she's basically she's still kind of sluggish she might be uh for the next couple days but right now she's mainly exhausted from this stressful day i'm i'm exhaustful from this stressful day and the other thing as well is her because of her heart murmur even if she recovers from this infection there is still a high chance of heart problems down the road as she continues to age. She's clearly a senior. I've seen cats get to be at least 20, 21. We, we had one cat that I think was 21 or 22. But he, he got so old that uh, basically his uh, his body started to shut down and it was it was basically time. We, we, we took him to the vet and he... Uh, he went to his happy place. No, it's 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 kind of concerning for me because I just got back and she's gonna go basically. But she she's a tough cat though. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. She's always been tough, and uh, I'm, I'm sure she'll get through this. I'm just more worried about what's what's down the road, how much time there is left. It, I know it's like it, what's more important is the time that is spent with the time that's left basically but so yeah basically that's where i'm at now but uh other than that like i like i said uh i have plans for future content i'm just not sure when it's gonna happen because i need to get off my lazy ass still i need to get back to the gym i am weak i need to lose weight i'm having knee problems still I am also having back problems now, mainly muscle because apparently I was not using the lumbar support on this chair. I am now, but we'll see. So yeah, that's it. Um, so just want to let you guys know how she's doing. I know a lot of you are probably watching from Twitter or Discord because um, I was talking about it before and then I said I was going to make a video. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitch, otherwise you'll miss great content like this. Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And until the next video, guys, bye for meow. God, I hate this freaking cat. <laughs>